Hey guys, I'm Rizzo and welcome back to another episode of VLR, or Virtue's Last Reward, or Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Last episode, we basically uh, finished out the puzzle. Um, we... Sorry, I had to check the sound. Yeah, I, I was attempting to record earlier. I lost seven minutes. That's totally fine. It wasn't that much time. Uh, but I lost seven minutes to my recording when I realized my microphone was not plugged in properly, and so that it didn't pick up any of my audio, so I was just like, oh. Got to record this again <laughs> from the start, I guess. Um, yeah, seven minutes. Some, I, I made some progress in seven minutes anyways. But anyways, point is, um, yeah, last episode we basically went and solved the puzzle for the control room. And we finally got the puzzle, so we got the key to get out of here. So we just need to plug in those the passcode to get to the key, the actual key, to get out of here. So let's do it. Uh, I believe I remembered what the passcode was, which is... This. This is the pattern. How did I remember it? Because I looked at <laughs> in my attempt at recording from earlier, so it made it easier for me to catch it. Yes. It opened. Okay, let's get our prizes. First, we got... A map. It says floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters says floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm... We came down here using an elevator, right? So that makes... So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Does the number usually count from the bottom up? But from the, from the bottom floor? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Why does that seem... Ominous? Whatever, moving on. Our next prize is... Let's see... Key cards. They have a moon on them. That means these are the moon cards of, that the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AP game. They gave us two, just like the sun, just like the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That's fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. We've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one. Is it some kind of input device? It has a keyboard on it. And a cable connected to the top. We can worry about that later. Um, but yeah, I want to mention that this is the input device that was mentioned. I, To my surprise, when I first played this part, uh, I was just like, this is the input, that, input device that was mentioned in the gold document two episodes ago, I think. Or no, last episode, maybe. Um, but we basically read through it and said that this thing was the thing that, uh, messes up with the bomb device that, uh, has been seen in this particular branch of the game. Not sure if we'll be able to find the passcode or the password to deactivate those bombs through this input device, but, I mean, we'll now know that we can use this thing, uh, at a later stage if we end up going somewhere. I mean, looking at the, I mentioned earlier that the flow is, like, pretty abrupt <laughs> like we're gonna most likely hit this hit this and then we only got like two parts there and three parts here which don't really have much going on unfortunately but i mean if we go to the other one the other side which is this particular branch uh it seems like there's gonna be a lot more so we'll probably know that the input device will play a big role in this side of it uh when we get to the side of the branch which i'm, I'm assuming that we'll, we'll get there eventually but it won't be at the immediate part of this game uh, for this part of the branch. But anyways, point is, um, this will play a role later in a different thing, but not for so much as this one, because it looks like we're kind of ending it very quickly, I think, with this particular part of the, the branch of the game. Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally, the key. We can get out now. Yeah. This should unlock the exit. All right. No more screwing around. Let's move. Yeah, so there's really nothing left of this area. I think there's just these two things, but they'll probably disappear once we... Once we move out of the space, we just need the key, honestly. Um, I mean, if there's something, like, alternative happening, I don't see it as, like, something that would be easy to notice. Uh, besides the golden document, which is, like, the obvious thing, usually. But, yeah. The doors lock. It says lock. Okay, Ikimashou. Okay, let's go. 
Yes, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. Boom, boom. You found the way out. Dum, 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 dum. Ambidex gate ga kaiho saremashita. Ambidex game tohyo no shimekiri made nokori yonju gofun des. Huh? But yeah, it, it's a surprise. I was also saying this earlier when I first did this part. The, the part of where I stopped was when I when we got to the first floor, back to the warehouse, but um, which is not a surprise, we're going up there anyways. Um, but yeah, when I first saw that, I was like, this is too early. Like, we immediately exit out of the, 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 the uh, puzzle room and we're already immediately forced to vote, which is weird. Um, I, I was kind of surprised and taken aback when I saw that or when I when I got to that point. So it's kind of weird to me that they kind of immediately pushed us into voting right off the bat. What's going on? Which is always, which I forgot about that because I was like, oh, you know, like, they the only way to force all the doors open is one of the people has, like, the moon card already and they're just opening up their door. So that forces everyone to vote at a certain time limit, so... I mean, it's kind of weird to me. One of them might have rushed to just get to the voting door right off the bat, or that somebody just did it because they just felt like they want to get it over with. Like, I feel like it would be Dio. Like, the, the person who I think who would do this is definitely either Dio or uh, K. Like, those are the only two characters who always seems to be super duper suspicious and rushes things without anything. But depending on what branch they are, K might be normal and act like a normal person, but Dio is the always the one who just acts so it, unnaturally. Like, he he acts very irrationally every single time. So I, I, I suspect that it's Dio again who's doing these weird things that just really doesn't make any sense. Unless it's Quark, on the other hand, who, who's been attacked by the Radical Six, because, because we haven't encountered him turned into Radical Six yet, so it could be potentially a Radical Six issue that has started... Uh, becoming more problematic, but we haven't seen it yet. Well, why the hell would they go and open one of the doors on their own? Right, so... Okay, let's go. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, so this is the part where I, I stopped the recording immediately because I realized my audio was not recorded. So I'm good to go now. So we're now progressing to the blind territory. The territory that I'm like not so sure about what's going to happen. Because this is the part where I don't know what's going to happen next. So it's better than being able to know what's going on because I have a proper commentary of me just like not being able to react and react. I mean, I personally like to react to the thing blindly and not think about it because it's easier to just have a better, like, better side of something uh, when it comes to, uh, or not better side, it's, it's better to have it where we're just, like, seeing my reaction for the first time because it's easier to make it more relatable to somebody who's seen something for the first time. Uh, so it's like easier. It's nicer to kind of jump into something that I don't know too much about. So, anyways, we leapt. Oh, we leapt up. We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Ten Miyoji, Dio, and Clover. Wait, one person. Wait, these three weren't okay. So no, so it's not Dio, is it? Oi, hey, what the hell is this? Why do you open one of the AB rooms before the rest of us got back? <laughs> Oh, so it is Dio, isn't it? Dio ga kate ni? Ah, that piece of crap. Seriously, Dio is like... I kind of knew this was happening with Dio. Heh. <laughs> ga? I mean... I think he said... Warui ga? Which is... Is it that bad? <laughs> I think he said... I might, I might be wrong. Yes, yes, I do have a problem. 
みんなが集まらないとゲートを開けちゃいけないなんて約束俺はした覚えはないぜ Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was a common sense. ええ、シグマさんの言う通りですよ。But also, not only that, the rule, there was a particular rule, but I don't know if it applies to every part of the game,、uh, every part of the AB round games, because we've never encountered it much. But the idea is if everyone doesn't vote, That group gets punished, I think. Like the three pairings will get punished, or the whole group gets punished. I haven't seen it yet, but we, we had a rule that we, we found on a piece of paper that stated that if everyone hasn't voted, that one pairing will be punished.、Uh, which we don't know what kind of punishment that is, or everyone gets punished. I can't remember exactly. The wording was terrible, though, from what I remember reading. まだどこかの部屋にいるかもしれないんですよもしもあの3人が投票時刻に間に合わなかったらどうするつもりですか No sooner were the words out of her mouth The three of them rush out ああよかった<笑> OK 皆さん揃っていたのですね Did something happen? ええ Quark ran out of the door right as they exit クオーク君がうん Oh, good. Goody goody goo two shoes. Rad six is there starting to run rampant again. Oh. Well, we got 45 minutes to decide because this dumbass does the thing that he, don't, that he always does. He's ruined everything. Now, Aris さんが付き添って見ていますが、いつ容体が急変してもおかしくはありません。え、ですから。It always seems to affect Ten Miyoji the most, I feel like. Ten Miyoji shoved K aside and left through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. Uh, another collapsing scene again. t e n m y o j i grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. どうすれば救王を助かる助かるってちょっと大げさすぎやしねえか単に貧血を起こしてぶっ倒れただけかもしれねえだろいやそんなことはないこの子のことはわしが一番よく知っておるこの子が貧血を起こして倒れたことなど
Well, wait, where's Alice? I just realized Kay came over just to tell us this, but Alice has been quiet. Back to this particular scene again, which is ridiculous that they're doing the scene again. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine start scans Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she re read through read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lips and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark just before she spoke. ウイルス。おお、ノー。ドンテルミ。ええ。ラジカル6と呼ばれるウイルスです。バンバンバンバン。サプライズサプライズ。ノットアサプライズ、リーリー。ですイズ。ですイズ。ですイズ。ですイズ
what is the other room? Sigma, Not in the control room, no. You mean in the control room? All that has. Oh, my bad. Jeez. I'm trying to cut it over. Uh, let me see the log, since that's always my way of figuring out what the heck he said. All that had. All that had was a bunch of stuff from, for controlling the generator. I don't think anybody would put medicine there. Yeah, what, did... what room did they go through? Oh, archives. Okay, so they went through a different room. Yeah, they, they went through a different room. Okay. So that means that there's no treatment center. There's no lab. And that's the ones that we get for this one. In this particular branch. What room did you go through? Yeah, he's going to die anyway. Look, just to be sure. Where did the three of you go? Oh, I got it. <laughs> I forgot that was the case. Yeah, yeah, because it was treatment room, bee gardens, and the laboratory. That was the combination we got in that first playthrough branch. This is the fourth playthrough branch, is what I'll call it. Um, so this is interesting, because this is the predicament where we don't get to see the laboratory at all. So Radical 6 could cost these characters uh, the cure to make sure that Clover... Uh, not Clover. Uh, to make sure Quark gets out of it with, with the mm -hmm. But the more. Of course. Which is not helping anyways. Temioji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. It's always creepy to see him stand in this pose and like stare at us like that. なんのマネージャークーク。ごめんね、ちっちゃん。僕にはどうしてもやらなきゃいけないことがあるんだ。やらなきゃいけないこと？なんじゃそれは。決まってるじゃないか。ここから脱出するんだよ。どうやって？い
acts up in this particular branch too as well which is weird and also not only that alice has been quiet throughout this whole interaction which makes it even worse for me good thanks whoever that was quark barely seems to notice the loss of the scalpel he continues to scream and write writhe like he was possessed what are we going to do we gotta calm him down somehow Nina. この部屋に鎮静剤はあ、ありません。ですが、なんだ。マンドレイン Alright. Grab the thing. Rather really quickly and then load it up. Oof. Silence. Alright, I guess we're good for now. Eh, Masuga Kite Rijikawa. Dore Gurai Motsonanda. 24 hours, maybe. Oh, few hours. Okay. So, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Radical Six no go to Kuashku Stirun Janaynoga. Dio, why are you being a pain in the butt by just like pressing on her like she knows everything? Come on, man. So, so no, can I say, I discar? Kono imuchi de Hakenshta no Shimbun Kishi. A soconi kakarete takoto ingaiwa. Nani mosira nai desio. Mhm. Uso nanka tsuite tosser in this car. Is that the truth? Sorry, I, I, I accidentally skipped it, not noticing it was me. さっきのは他のウイルスの場合でも同じような症例が報告されているのでそう言っただけですねえだったらさクオークが自殺しようとしたのもラジカル6のせいなのええおそらくそうだと思いますそう、so what kind of virus is radical 6? Nobody knows, I get it. Thinking about what the hell this drug is about, obviously, or what this virus is about. It's ridiculous that we're just sitting there just silently, though. I turned over and followed Tenmyoji's gaze. Hi, Alice, who has Radical Six as well. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or for some other, more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark and for had a f ha, <laughs> far more like Quark had a moment ago than I was also was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice Hey, are you feeling okay? Well, she knows because she literally talked to us about the terrorist organization that has been plaguing her history, basically, so... 
we kind of know the backstory somewhat of what she's been through uh, in the other branch in the first playthrough, continuation of the pl first playthrough. Thanks. But I am very curious, why does it have to always be either Quark or Ali and Alice? Like, why does it have to be those two individuals and why not try to spin it off a little differently? I mean, I understand they would do it because budgeting, like they don't want to make the voice actors do more than the lines that they've been told to do. And I think they just simply kept it as just those two for most of the branches that might have the radical sex infection thing. But it's really annoying just to see them saying the same thing again and again compared to what like 999 did, which was like everybody was voicing it, which was fantastic. And they were like always different here. It's like just. They're just repeating most of the stuff they could only get a hold of. I'm guessing she will run off and we won't be able to chase after her because of the fact that we ran out of time so we can vote. Wait, is she gonna run off or is she going to commit to it here? Totomate! Wait! Alice! We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. <laughs> Damn it! Kso. I shook myself and took off after her. Gone. But those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance between us. And too many doors between us. Yeah, okay, whatever, I get it. I read it poorly. Crap. Which way did she go? Right? Left? Migi? Hidari? I was trying to decide when everyone else poured out of their uh, of the infirmary. Yeah. I don't know which way she went. No, 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 no. We need to vote now and then look for her later. Because unfortunately, our flipping friend, Deal, well, he's not a friend, our flipping number one idiot of the community, Deal, decided to say, hey, let's vote now so we can just get this over with, stupid idiot. I swear, it's, please, game, just let me vote already, because I know it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. We're not gonna be search for her in time. We spent literally half an hour on Quirk, and now we're spending another half an hour? Yeah, right. わかりました。ただ。見つけたとしても大声を上げたりはするなよ。くれぐれも彼女を刺激しないように。分かったな。ガッチュ。それから念のため天明寺は空国のことを見ててくれ。アリスの捜索は他の6人で行う。それでいい
At least we get a preview of what this space looks like, I guess. Ooh. All right, I'll save this for the next episode because I do want to use this for the thumbnail in the next episode. I don't know how far the next episode's gonna be for the uh, thumbnail. Gotta go all back to the first page because we're oversaving in that one. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, good night, or whenever you're watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and check out the archives for the first time. And uh, keep that kind of thing in the um, next episode so we can figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, I'm guessing that Alice is not going to be seen or spotted. She'll probably end up dead, probably on her own accord. And that technically closes out our game, I guess, for this particular part of the branch. I mean, we're not far from finishing out this part of the story flow. Because it, it's going to end on the vote. And either direction will be the same thing anyways at the ending point. I mean, one of them is probably going to get blocked or something like that. Because we don't have the, 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 the reality of whatever this is. So it makes sense that might be the case with that, maybe. I have no clue. I haven't seen an end next to a locked thing before. So, so that will be my first time seeing that, of course. But anyways, point is, we'll figure that out in the next episode. And then we'll see from there what's going to happen then. So other than that, Roz, out.